Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make an Apple ID for any country at all without a credit card guys, completely free. So a lot of you have been asking me how to make Apple IDs for this country and that country and all this other stuff guys. But uh, I'm going to be teaching how to do that. It's extremely simple. Uh, there's only a couple of steps. It's just those few steps take a couple of minutes each to do. So this video will more, more likely be roughly about 10 minutes long. Sorry about that guys. But I wanted to make it simple and clear for all of you guys to use. So before we start the video off guys, can I get 170 likes? Also if you're a new support the 170 and subscribe. So I do have a couple more things to say guys now if it still asks you for a credit card that are for a credit card to use it then what I highly recommend you guys to do is to basically use this app called tunnel bear what tunnel bear does is it uses a VPN that can basically make ma that uses a VPN that makes your device think you're somewhere else in around the world I mean that's like the most simplest way I can explain it for you guys so you guys are going to use Tunnel Bear and make it think you're inside of the United States. Doesn't matter where inside the United States, you're just going to want to select the United States, guys. So once you do that, you guys should be perfectly fine, and it should work for you guys. If not, then I don't know what to tell you guys. This is what I do when I create Apple IDs. I mean, I've probably released over 30 Apple IDs. I'm the first person to make an Apple ID. I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to release an Apple ID with paid apps on there. I was the one who basically started it all with that. So, um, yeah, that's basically just to be just about it for this video, guys. I'm going to go ahead and meet you over on my iPhone now. Alright guys, I'm over on my iPhone as you can see. Now the app I recommend to use that make the email with is MyMail. I'm sure there's other alternatives you guys can use, but there will be a link to this app inside the description. It's the one I recommend because Gmail doesn't work for me. So when you guys open it up, you're going to want to see a plus bar on the left hand side. Go ahead, select Google. Then once you guys do that, you're going to scroll down uh, and you're actually going to see create account. You guys are going to go ahead and tap that. And then right here, you just want to enter in basic info. It can all be lies and bullcrap if you want or you can actually fill it out with truthful information completely up to you guys so as you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and do something like AJ 170 is here something nice and simple you're able to remember then create a password get down more likely if you guys are using this app you shouldn't need to use it but just in case if you do need to sign into it again go ahead and remember it so as you can see I'm just gonna go ahead and do something simple and then for the birthday, guys, you guys are going to make sure you're older. You put your over the age of 18. So I'm just going to put January 1st, 1990 or something like that. So if you guys do that, you should be good because that's over the age of 18. And then for there, just go ahead and put in your gender. For, mo for mobile phone number, go ahead and leave that blank. And for your current email address, go ahead and put in your actual current email address or one of your current emails. It doesn't matter. If you guys don't have one, then create a 20-minute email just by Googling it. That would be a separate tutorial. So once you fill all that, go ahead, scroll down, hit I agree. Let's go ahead and wait. And then you guys should see something like this. Go ahead and hit continue. Go ahead, scroll down, and you guys are going to want to hit allow. And then we're going to wait for it to credit card credentials. If you guys get this error like here, like I just did, go ahead, tap Google, input your information, and hit sign in. This is actually the first time I experienced that issue. I've created a lot of different emails this way, and that was the first time I've actually gotten that error. But all you guys have to do is sign in, like I said. So as you can see, I'm about to sign in, and it should work perfectly fine. Go ahead and hit allow again. And wait and there we go as you can see it's checking the information syncing it and all of the other magical things it does and there you guys go you should see done go ahead tap that and remember the email address if you guys hit the three bars it'll be right there now the next thing you guys want to go to the link inside of the description that has something about Apple in it so this is where you're gonna to want to go to create your Apple ID guys so I mean I'm just gonna go ahead and Google it because it's a little bit easier for me just to do that because this is actually my second take of the new video. The older video was like over 12 minutes long and this time it's about 8 minutes. So it's a lot shorter. So I actually did go to the wrong page guys. You want to make sure you go to the right page in case you are googling it. Instead of going to the link inside of the description. So this time I actually did go to the right link. From right here you guys are going to want to input your information. So the email would be the email you just made. For example for me is AJ170 is here. 
So once you get done typing that, you're just going to basically fill out the rest of this information like I do. But not exactly the same, of course, guys. You can fill out your own custom information, of course. So you're going to input all of your info. Confirm the password. So should, like I said, this will only take you guys about maybe five to six minutes. It's taking me longer because I'm doing it slower for a video. Put in a name. It doesn't matter what the name is. And then for the birth date again, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you put you're over the age of 18. And then for security questions, just put in some bow crap. I mean, I just put a bunch of potatoes in there because why not? Potato, potata, and potatoes. This is what I actually did. But again, it doesn't matter, guys. So once you get done with this information, you're going to want to uncheck everything below, which you're going to see me do. So you want to make sure that says United States. Go ahead and make sure that says United States, guys. Uncheck all that stuff. Enter in this information right here. And then go ahead and hit continue, and it's going to load for a couple of seconds. And if you entered in everything the way it wants you to, you'll get an email from my mail, the mail you just created, and you're going to have to input a six-digit passcode. So if I go ahead and maximize this email, as you can see, there's the passcode right there. You guys are going to remember that, so I remembered it on the spot. And then you're going to want to go ahead and type it in, hit next. Go ahead and wait a few seconds, guys, and you should be redirected to a bunch of options. You guys are going to ignore every single one of those. So if we go ahead and give it a couple more seconds to load. I did have a little bit of trouble loading. I don't know why. As you guys can see, there you go. So from right here, you want to go ahead and go to the App Store from right here. So as you see, I'm going to go ahead and open up the App Store now. And then once you guys open up the App Store, you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom, guys. So let's go ahead and wait for this to fully load up. If this pops up, just hit whatever. It does not matter. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you're going to tap on your Apple ID, hit Sign Out. And then you guys are going to want to hit Sign In, tap Use Existing Apple ID, and then input your Apple ID information. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly enter in my information, guys. And I'm not going to edit this video at all, just so you can see that this is completely real and not faked inside of any type or shape or form or way. So, as you can see, I just inputted that information, then we're going to have to review it, so go ahead and click on the review button. And then from right here, guys, you're going to want to select another country. It doesn't matter which country. I mean, I've made it for at least about, I want to say, at least seven different countries I've made Apple IDs for. So, we're going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to try and find something. For example, here's New Zealand. So, I'm going to go ahead and do New Zealand, guys. Go ahead and hit agree. Hit agree again. And then you should be brought to a bunch of information. For billing information, there should be an option for none. If not, then use a US VPN like I talked about earlier in the video. Go ahead and put in some random information. It doesn't matter what. <clears throat> the only thing that does matter, guys, is the postcode, which is extremely, extremely easy to find. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a random suburb like Potato. And then for city, you guys can try and do a real city name. I mean, I always do Chicago. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then you're going to want to enter in just some bullcrap number, guys. Again, it doesn't matter. It just makes sure it's in the right format. Then remember, like, it she gives you an example. Just don't use the exact example. And remember, we're making a New Zealand Apple ID. So what we're going to want to do now is go ahead and open up Safari yet again. Go ahead and wait for, for Safari to actually fully load up. We're going to tap on the little Google URL button thingy and type in New Zealand postcode. Go ahead and wait for me to type this in because my phone was vibrating while I was typing, and it was kind of harder to type. So once you have all that typed in, for example, if you're doing China, do China postcodes, and you guys are going to basically click on one of the first things. And then, I, uh, as you guys can see, and I actually clicked on the first one right here. I believe it was the wrong thing, and I actually had to go to the second one. But normally with postcodes, they're about four digits. Sometimes they might have letters in there. And as you can see, there is example of addresses. You can also go to example of uh, letters being mailed of that place and a bunch of other stuff. And you're just going to look for something right around that area. So go ahead, copy that, guys. Open back up the App Store. And let's go ahead and paste that in now. So I went ahead and pasted that in. I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And it's loading. And as you guys can see, the Apple ID was made successfully. So now it's going to reload it into the actual region of that app store, guys. And as you guys can see, it now loaded me into the New Zealand app store. So as you can see, uh, it's going to ask you to put in your password. Then it should ask you for Touch ID if you have a Touch ID supported device. 
then go ahead and click OK for anything that may or may not pop up. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Not Now for there. I'm going to go ahead and type in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I'm pretty sure New Zealand is the one that actually has the exclusive one. But I actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it's Australia or China. So I actually did mess up. But that's going to be just about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.